Hey. Another up to date forecast on Tropical Storm Ida. Wind's definitely picked up. You can see the trees moving. And uh, it's still raining, although it stopped a few brief seconds and you know, it's raining again. Clico is mobilizing all resources and is ready to respond if a storm strikes our area. Is your family prepared? Make evacuation plans now. Prepare for power outages. Stock your emergency kits and stay tuned for updates and advisories. If you require electricity for emergency reasons, make arrangements now to ensure your safety if power is lost. I think one of the problems we have here is that we've got widespread 100% damage to bridge, St. Bernard, Clackamas, New Orleans, Jefferson, St. Charles, just, just all the way down the line. It's really damaged the grid, but, you know, the last one, the National Hurricane Center was telling us that this was an extremely strong probability. quick meeting with GOSAP about an hour and a half ago and clearly what they're doing is they're collecting information and they're getting damage reports or nick
you to uh, push northward. Um, so basically, if you uh, draw a line across the center, um, it would be to the right and uh, uh, of that. Uh, so basically, um, bands where the bands have set up, those are where the tornadic spin-ups are going to occur. So right now, um, areas like Slidell along the Mississippi Gulf Coast around Bay St. Louis, where the heavier bands are lining up, those are where the spin-ups are going to occur right now. Sean O'Neill with the National Weather Service. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, in Norco, whose house is probably not going to be a house. Uh, her neighbor called her because they evacuated. Two trees fell on her house. My daughter, who's on the other side of Ormond Boulevard from where I am, has a lot of leaks in her house, and her ceiling fell in in her dining room. The street in front of my house is the highest of, of the street. So it's just, it's just...
as you, I'll never say, maybe you can start category one again. I live on two acres of land, I had a lot of trees, and I consider myself blessed, because almost every tree in my yard is down, and not one of them touched my house. So, listen to the stories of the people that been on, I'm telling you, I'm blessed, but I've never, I'm 61, and I've never, never witnessed a storm like this in my life. No. Much loud noise. We didn't know what was happening out there. We were trying to figure out where it was coming from. But, I mean, I have a fence that went down. I have my roof torn up. Uh, my shed's torn up. My son next door, his roof's torn up. He has one whose shed came down. She has a fence on the side and the fence behind her house down. Um, on the east bank of Jefferson Parish, a number of callers that I talked to said they had no water pressure. How about you? You know what? Um, about three hours ago, we turned it on. It, there wasn't much. No, there's no water. Just turned it on. No, there you go. What are they doing in the morning? Yeah. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you so much for the call. We truly appreciate it.